What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today we have another regionals question and answer video. And uh, what's your name? James Horvath. All right. And usually at the start of the video, I post his list and everything, and explain his deck. But he actually wrote an article for Six Prizes. As you see, he's wearing the Six Prizes shirt right now. And the link will be down below. Make sure you check it out if you want to see his list and everything like that. He also goes over some of his matches as well. If he if he missed something, like maybe if he didn't go to such great detail, you can see more in the list. Uh, but let's uh, let's start out. What decks did you play against uh, in uh, day one, and how did it go? Round one, I played against a uh, Sceptile Ariados deck. I was kind of scared about it because if I didn't get the turn one Archies, I feel like he could just one shot everything, which he did. But I could outspeed him. Like game one, he has to attach two energy to get a knockout. So if you get ahead on Secret Sword, you just take the matchup. But game one and three, I had to discard two superiors turn one to get the Archies. And then game one, game two, I just dead drew. Okay, so did you, you end up losing game one? Losing game two. Okay, losing game two, okay. And then round two, I played against Evil Tall Garb. And then game one, I got the turn one Archies. And then I last handed the Garb, and he doesn't play Hex since he already played good. He already played Garb, and then Laser Flips almost lost me the game, since I prized my third Keldeo, but um, I came back. Okay. And then High Breaching the Shaman for a game. <laughs> <laughs> Round three, I played against Toad Garatina. Game one, I get turn one Archies, and he just dead draws. Or, no, I got turn two Archies. I played my hand down to my Archies, since I thought he was going to punch. But then I top deck a computer search, and I could propagate. Okay. Game two, uh, I stay asleep on laser six flips in a row. And he kept using Hex Maniac and Silent Lab. So I lost that game because of laser flips. And then game three, I get the turn on Archies, but he punches and I couldn't just draw into energy. And he just kept using Hex Maniac. Okay. Round four, I played against. Let me grab this phone. I played against a random dark deck. It wasn't competitive, so now, I just got turn one Archies both games. Now, when you say dark deck, like you talking about Evatol or are you talking about like some um, of the dark stuff? There was like Sharpedo. There was Malamar. There was the Nani X Malamar. Okay. <laughs> I saw Dark Claw. Oh, Dark Claw, there you go. <laughs> I guess if you are playing an all dark deck, might as well play Dark Claw because it is cooler looking. Yep. Yeah, but we take those wins. Yeah. Round five, I played against Primal Groudon. That matchup is a lost cause if they set up two primals. But game one, he just dead draws, and I just hype reaching, and I flip every heads on the. to wake up, and he couldn't one shot it. So I took that like 6 0, I think. And then game two, he dead draws even more. And I'm just like, he only sets up one Primal Groudon. And I just get um, Articuno on a Wobbuffet because I'm like, okay, I'll just try to two shot this Wobbuffet. And then I flip all three heads on um, Tri Edge. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I flip one Tails. Oh, there you go, very nice. He started flipping my dice and it kept rolling heads and I was like getting scared. But <laughs> there's no way that dice is weighted. <laughs> Is it like clear and everything? Yeah, it was oh, a six yeah, prizes dice. You're good. Oh, okay. And then round six, I played against Vespaquen Wabafet. Okay. It was a like, sort of weird list here on like three N. And then like only two Shaman, I think. But game one, he he starts Wab, but I get the turn on Archies without having to use an ability, which is nice. And then I end up Lysandering a Vespaquen, taking it out, it had a DC on it with Secret Sword. And then he sends a Vespaquen, and he thinks he has a knockout, so he level balls for a Combi instead of an unknown, but he only hit me for 160. <laughs> and then I uh, retreated to Articuno, and then I, had, I benched the Fliptini that I ran in my list. And then uh, I flipped for the first one, first one's a heads. Second one's tails, and then third one's a tails, and I go victory star, heads, tails, heads, and then I got the two prizes. And then at that point, I'm just too far ahead for him to come back. 
Game two, I just dead draw. He ends me into like three waters. I shaman into like two more waters and a battle compressor. So yeah. And then game three, he just doesn't get anything going. I just try edge three times. <laughs> okay. Then round seven, I play against Ray Eels and I just ID. Okay. Now, <clears throat> going to day two, are you excited? Are you nervous? Because I see online that you know what he's playing against, and it seems like it's a pretty shaky top eight matchup. He does play the Hex yeah. Maniac. How are you feeling going into it? I actually didn't test the Evil mat evil Tall matchup much <laughs> since I was in the hospital. I couldn't test much since the internet there was trash. <laughs> So I thought Evil Tall was fine. It was a fine matchup. And he didn't run any Toad, and I was happy about that. Okay. But game one, I got a free win since his Dark Rai X was marked. Like, it, you could notice it in your deck. So, and then game two, I get turn one Secret Sword on a baby Evil Tall. And then I just keep taking prizes. Okay. But I also misplay a couple times, like... I got scared to put down like a 7th water energy on my Keldeo, and then he end me down to 1, and if I draw a water energy, I KO his Darkrai for game, but it, so it went a f few turns longer than it should have. Oh, okay. And then top 4, I play against Patrick Martinez, which is the world champion, with Sableye Garb. Game 1, he dead draws for like a turn when I last entered Trubbish without a float. So I decided, let's just go for the Archies. And he had Garboder in play, so I was like, so I was just hoping to attach another one and then Lysander it up next turn. But he just Lysander my Blastoise and it was over. <laughs> okay. So I pretty much had to go for the Blastoise since if you don't get it in play, you sort of lose. Yeah. Then game two, he draws this, I get turn on Archies, and he says, oh, this is going to be a quick one. So I just donk his Sableye. <laughs> Game three, I get turn one Archies, and I Lysander his Garb, and then he just couldn't get much going at that point. Right. So you're going to the finals now? Yep. We actually asked to be on stream. Like, there's, um, they had it going, and I was like, are they going to stream this? And he's like, oh, that's a good idea, the judge. So that was pretty cool to be on stream. I think it's around the 56-minute mark if you want to watch that. Yeah, and I'll have the link down below just in case you want to watch it. Game, both games, I got turn one Archies, but I couldn't just get my water energy, and he hit all super scoop-ups in the first game. But in the second game, he whiffed on all super scoop-ups, so sort of evened out, but I would have rather taken the first game. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. Quaking Punch was very annoying. Did y'all go to game three? No. Okay, so in the game two, but still... I mean, second place is very nice, so congratulations. Yeah. Got this nice map. Yeah, there you go. The finalists. Were you kind of upset that they didn't have trophies? I kind of feel yeah, like, I yeah. very upset. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm still kind of wondering why they didn't do that, or why they didn't get out trophies, but that's another question Pokemon will have to hopefully answer one day. Yeah, I think it's because they, they put the mats, the stamped mats, instead of just having all top eight mats. Yeah, true. Alright, well I guess the very first question is, uh, why did you decide to go with Archie Soyuz? Um, there was like, I couldn't figure out a better option. I had Evil Tall ready to go, but I wasn't really confident in the Night March matchup. Because I thought a lot of people would be playing that. Yeah. It was everywhere, but I just didn't play against it. Like, it was top four versus Toad Garatina. So if the Night March would have won, I would have had like a free finals. Mm hmm Since I ran the Whale Lord and two Articuno. <laughs> Okay, now, the two Articuno, was that just for the Night March matchup, or did it have any other purpose? Vespaquen. Vespaquen, okay. It was huge in Vespaquen matchup. Okay. Now, would you ever consider cutting, like, the Waylord or, an Ar or the Articuno for a Kyogre EX to take, like, two prizes? Yeah, Kyogre was in my, uh, like, first list. I thought about it. I just traded for a full art one. So I'm like, <laughs> hey, let's run this. But, yeah, Waylord didn't do much. Okay. Besides that high breaching. Alright, now you talked about Victini somewhat in uh, just one matchup, but did you ever use it overall, or was it kind of just like a dead card? It was a dead card in every matchup but the Vespaquen matchup. Okay. Now, if you were to play this list again, would you cut the Victini, or would you keep it in? 
I'd probably keep it in just because seniors like to run Vestaquin and Night March, mm-hmm. and it it helped versus those. Okay. Now, besides the the Kyogre and um, the Victini, was there anything else that you kind of wanted in your deck that you couldn't fit? I kind of wanted the second Rough Seas, but there was points where I I could bench the Victini, like the Victini was the cut for the Rough Seas. Mm-hmm. But there was times where I benched the Victini to get the Archies. And I couldn't have benched a rough seas since I already had one in play. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I guess another question, too, is we saw... I think there's just one master, maybe two, in top eight in Houston that played Tropical Beach. Yeah. Did you ever, like, man, I wish this rough seas was a Tropical Beach? Oh, yeah, in the finals it would have been nice. Yeah. Okay. Just to uh, try to draw into more water energy. All right. Now, uh, talking about the finals again with Size and Toad... How does that matchup usually go? Because we saw Jacob like destroy it, and uh, you know, in the worlds. But it's, like, uh, Cypress Toad beat it. Uh, the Archie Soy is in Houston finals. We saw it beat it in your finals. So was it just because you didn't run a thought, or was it something else that we are missing? You have to get a lot of energies down turn one, or you need to draw into them. If you yeah. can't draw into energies, you lose. Okay. Plus, only having three draw supporters is kind of hard. <laughs> Like, I was down to a one-card hand and IVS for Juniper, and then he end me into junk. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Now, I guess another question is, too, uh, with, like, everybody's putting Hex Maniacs into your deck, or into their deck week one, do you think a lot of people will start putting it into the deck week two? I, I guess, like... Yeah, Hex Maniac will stay in all the good decks. Okay. And do you think that would, that would like, see a decrease in Blastoise? Like, would you be scared to play Blastoise week two? Since you knew, like a lot of people are going to be teching hex. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't run it day two. I'd probably run something evil tall. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or maybe toad bats because I didn't see much Vespa Gwen. Okay. All right. Now uh, talking about the other regionals, are you going to go any other regionals coming up? Um. No. I wish I could go to San Jose since it's in my, it's in California, but it's just like eight hours too long. <laughs> yeah. Some people forget how big like California is, and yeah. Like, where that it's in the same state, but it's eight hours. Like that's crazy. Yep. Um, but I guess uh, the next question is, how many championship points are you at right now? I am at two o two o five with worlds points. Okay, two o five. Very nice. So, what was the world points last year? Was it two fifty or two hundred? Uh, it was two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. So I mean, you're already looking like you. If it is two fifty, you for sure. Like, yeah. Just your invite. Get it on the first cities. <laughs> Do you have any league challenges uh, completed yet? Uh, I have two firsts and then one fourth, which is ugly. Okay, okay. So, I mean, if you just finish out your league challenges, you would have 250. Yeah. Okay. Now, last year, did you get the top, I don't know, did they have, like, a top 16 thing uh, for, for y'all? Yeah, Yeah, they had top 16, but last year, uh, I did terrible at nationals. Okay, okay. When I was in a good position, if I top eight, I would definitely get it. Okay. What was the uh, top 16? Do you remember the, the the final point to get it? For Worlds or Nationals? Oh, for Nationals, sorry. Yeah, after Nationals, do you know what it was to be in top 16? It was, like, around 800. 800? Okay. I mean, still, I mean, your first regionals, you had a great showing, so hopefully you yeah. like, repeat all the other regionals. and. Uh... Yeah, I need to def- defend SoCal in February. <laughs> I won that last year. Okay. All right. Well, uh, do you want to give any shout-outs to anybody? Give a shout out to Christopher Shemansky who gave me the Victini idea. John Delato for like some testing. Michael Stromp, he made top thirty two in Masters in his first uh, regionals as a master. And he also tested with me a little bit. And then shout out to Kenny Wisdom, he gave me some dice at the event. And then just shout out to the staff. They ran it pretty well. It was a decently sized regionals. And then probably some people I'm forgetting, my parents, my mom for taking me. And then just, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, great. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview. And once again, congrats on uh, second place. It's very nice. Yeah, thanks. All right, man. Well, take care. Once again, if you want to see his list and everything, down below will be the link to his article. Make sure you check it out. And uh, do they have likes for the, uh, for the non-underground decks? No, they don't. Oh, they don't? Okay, okay. Well, if you like it, just go comment on it. That you like this list. Go check it out. It's article. It'd be nice. Let them know. It has 13 replies already, so there you go. 
Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, James. Well, thank you once again for doing this um, interview, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again uh, in the next regionals. Maybe you'll do fantastic again. Yeah, thank you. All right, take care.